Hello again. A bit of a breeze today. I wasn't expecting that when I stepped out. But never mind, it's all good. So what's my plans? Well, just a bit of a different walk today. Nowhere really special or anything. Just going on a slightly different route just to make a change. Do it then and now when I get to the midway point. Back via Liddles and jobs are good. So I'm heading down Lower Brimley at the moment towards Haywards Road. And up Haywards Road. They've had all their bushes cut back by look of things. It's all the uh, fake animals up on the balcony there, along with the two monkeys and a parrot in the tree. Lovely. And here we are by the other two charges, or four charges, that still aren't working. And uh, Winterbourne Road up there, where I used to walk up to school. High Brimley along there, and still High Brimley along here. And we're going to carry on up today with the sky, although it won't show it on the phone. Looking quite dark, so I hope it doesn't get sudden downpour. Not scheduled, but it doesn't look too smart up there either. First Halloween pumpkin out in the wild. And here we go up onto Exeter Road, where we've got the bridge across, which we're going to use. Here we go, this is a bridge across Exit Road with a Welcome to Timber sign on the other side. Entrance to my old school. There's the welcome to Timmouth sign. Here we go, we're gonna cut along down Land School Road. Heading this direction. That house there nearly finished. I come along about a year ago, filmed that, it's still been Half built, they like knocked it down and started again from scratch, but built it in the style that it's always been. Crazy. Little tiny cottages. And uh, Grove Crescent. Lovely. Here we go, coming up to the crossroads that was used in the Norman film. I have run that before, so I won't do it again today. But basically, the guy on the bike goes in the direction I'm walking, and the bus comes down from there. We shoots across the road down to there, and of course, they just miss each other by fractions of an inch. Crazy. That was just here. Zion Chapel. Can't say I ever noticed that before. And if anyone said to me, whereabouts is a Zion Chapel in Timmouth? I wouldn't have been able to answer them. Crazy what you just don't see when it's right in front of you, isn't it? Crazy. That was a guest house once. One of my pals used to live there. That little bit at the bottom was uh, their place or the owner's part. That would have been his bedroom there. Crazy. And that's actually the chap, or his dad, I should say, who used to live there, that went on to found Carol's Kitchen in Timmouth. And Carol's Kitchen is the location now of the Cantonese where I get my curry. But it was very big as a chicken shop, mostly. Kind of like KFC. But they called Carol's Kitchen, Carol was his wife. And uh, that was very, very big during the 
1980s in Timmouth. Kimbo Road. Kimbo Road. Keating's Lane. This is where James and Paul have moved, apparently. Somewhere down here. Hello, guys, if you're watching this. A little bit muddy here, but I made it, no breakages, no injuries. There's a little brook that runs down. And we're down on first now, I think, because down here at the bottom is the uh, Tesco's. Another Halloween reference. So if you've seen a pumpkin today, see the sign. Halloween is coming. Oh, and over there as well, happy Halloween again. Lovely. Nice to see something being made of it a bit more these days. Well, I was planning to get down to the end here, cross over and go back up through, uh, through Britain Park. But I think I'm going to do something else now. I'm going to cross over anyway and we'll take it from there. Right, well, unfortunately, I can't get the pick to come up to reference. Up the side of the screen now is what I'm seeing. It won't show up on my phone for some reason. So I'm going to do it from guesswork. Look it over here. Tesco Express is the garage, and uh, 1973 is flooded. Here you go. Right, so hopefully that lined up. Like I say, doing it from memory. Anyway, I was going to go back up now, go straight to Liddles. I'm going to take the long route to Liddles via Sheldon. Yay! See, as you can imagine. I didn't get out very much yesterday, just that bit of time down in the station. A couple of trips up and down for curries and pasties, etc. in the rain, but no proper walk, didn't get many, many steps in. Hence the reason now I've got the chance, got the nice today. Gonna walk across the bridge to Shoulder and come back on the ferry, just to get some extra steps in. Welcome to Timmouth. And the old toll house. Looks like, had I gone to Polly Steps, I could have done the secret tunnel, but as I say, it wasn't really my intention today. And I certainly didn't intend to walk across the bridge to Sheldon. But there we go. Certainly quite, quite breezy on the bridge, but that's all right. Simply getting some steps in. No complaints there. Thought I'd step over, cross over, see if it's a bit less breezy at this side. Nope. <laughs> Not this can make much of a difference anyway, is it really? Now that cloud would go from the sun, it would brighten up a little bit. Here we go. Three, two, one, shoulder. Yay! Right, now whether or not you ever see this little bit of footage is dependent on if I can find the photo that accompanies it. It's been knocking around on one of my computers for a while. I keep coming across it and forgetting about it. But I think it's about here. Again, doing this completely from memory showing that bit of the wall there that joins onto the bridge. However, the bridge is wooden because it's back way back when, 1800s probably. And here's the photo. So there we are. That was the old bridge from about here. Give or take tuppence. But that wall should be exactly the same. There we go. Hopefully I was able to dig that up. Oh look, train! There we are, train. I don't make this up, you know. That one is severely damaged. It's been on Facebook a couple of times when you get the high tide, it's up banging against the wall. In it, when it's uh, it's not you know it's not floating at all, even when the tide's in. Beautiful river views. Bit of salty showing. Like I say, what we call the salty now, just a sandbank in the middle of the river. 
but the salty I'm referring to really that's gone would have been the salty that had the permanent island in the centre, whether it was high tide, low tide or whatever, which was gotten rid of, dredged, whatever, 1981. There we go, that's the back of Potter's Mooring, the Guest House Hotel, and the back of London Inn. Lovely. And just down the end here, we get to the beach, where we'll catch the ferry. You probably can't see it, but I can. Well, you might be able to actually, big screen. The uh, ferry is on the beach. Lovely. Probably won't get this one though. We won't be able to. And there's the back of the Clipper Cafe with a seating area. Lovely. There we go. If he looks like he's going to pull the thing up, I'll wave at him. But uh, might be able to get this one. I don't know. Excellent. I waved at him. He's waved back. So he knows I'm coming. Smashing. What a beautiful view though. To be getting on a little ferry boat. To go back to Timoth over there. From over here in Sheldon. And I better stop filming now for a trip up on this very stony beach. And we're off. There's that other ferry for when it's inclement weather. There is the uh, fish key. If you look really, really carefully, there's Alan's boat right in the centre there. And a few drops of the old liquid sunshine, believe it or not. Coming down now, splashing on my glasses, splashing on my phone. Never mind. It eat what it eat. There we go. Hat on now. Not a day like this, really. And here we go. We've... Oh, there we are. Lovely. Timber. You see the rain now. In this shot. That was nice, the uh, couple on the ferry there recognised my voice because I was talking using the phone. Are you Bill by any chance? <laughs> for my sins, for my sins. But nice to meet them anyway. Does that show up? Not quite sure. Rainbow. There was a proper other end to the rainbow, clearly visible for a second there. But by the time I got the phone ready to try and line up and film it, it had disappeared. Never mind. Music playing at the Crab Shack. Yep, rain's getting heavier. And the breeze is picking up. I think I've made the right choice to start heading up home. Yuki Inn, 1661. Lovely. That was nice. Reason I haven't filmed very much from there to there. No problems or anything. Just been having a lovely chat with one of my subscribers. The person on the seafront who I said the other day, I said, I'm sorry, I can't stop. Well, I did stop this time, so what a nice chat. Lovely. Still standing. Yay! Littles. Right, see you on the other side. So there we go. Thanks so much for joining me today. Much appreciated, quite a random walk. Didn't really plan that one very much, but there we go. Hope it came out right, hope you enjoyed it. See you again tomorrow, take care, bye.